sofa in an ordinary room. Extraordinary heroes who are standing by to Zoom! Shape Japer keeps on making sides not match, anything could happen. If you wore glasses and the sides didn't match, that would look weird. And your glasses might fall off. The two sides of the dancing cow match each other, but she might get an extra horn. Or all her legs might be on one side and none on the other. And a butterfly has got a pair of beautiful matching wings. But if the shape japer made its wings not match, it wouldn't fly properly at all. If three things keep getting turned into nine things, anything could happen. If you had a birthday cake for your third birthday, suddenly you'd have three lots of three and it would be a cake for a nine-year-old. Or if Goldilocks was having trouble with three bears, suddenly it would have to be Goldilocks and the nine bears. And having three babies is hard enough already. What if you had three more and three more? Nine crying babies. If she goes on taking all the colours from the world, just think what might happen. No more beautiful red roses. No more green grass or leaves. No more blue sky. And no more bright yellow sun. It'll be a very dull world. No, if we don't stop Spooky Spoon mixing things up, anything could happen. You might be lying on your bed oh. and next minute you're off it and on the floor. The candles and decorations are all on your cake. And Ooh. next minute they're off it. Or a clock could be on the mantelpiece. And then it's off the mantelpiece. Oh, oh disaster. If number one is out there making bridges turn everything into one more, Almost anything could happen. <laughs> if the sun rose over a bridge, and there might be two suns, and everything would have two shadows. Or, if a bird flew over a bridge, that's two birds, and if they flew round again, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, it could go on forever. We've got to get rid of the number taker. If we don't, he'll keep on grabbing things that have more than one. If you had some cereal, the number taker would grab everything except one bit of cereal. If you had a plant in a pot, it would only have one leaf and one petal. Or if there were lots of people together, the number taker would make it only one person and she'd be very lonely. Uh-oh. They can't play tennis like that. If this goes on, anything could happen. You might get the wrong number of candles on your birthday cake. So instead of being five, you'll be six or seven or eight. Your favourite mm -hmm. stories might go wrong. Whoever heard of Goldilocks and the four bears? And instead of having four legs, the dancing cow will have five or six or seven or eight legs and have as many legs as a spider. Oh no! 
Five, you've got to do something. I know. Anything could happen. <laughs> Instead of turning the television on first and then mm. watching it, you might watch it before you turn it on. How boring would that be? And instead of getting undressed and then getting into the bath, you might get in the bath first. How soggy would that be? And instead of getting into bed and then falling asleep, you might fall asleep before getting into bed. If that problem blob keeps on making things happen in a pattern, anything could happen. A digger might have a pattern on its side and the slime might make the digger go dig, chuck, flip. Yay. Or a dancer might have a pattern on her costume and she might get slimed and go trip, splat, bounce. Ooh. Ooh. Or a plane might be slimed and it would go dive, loop, climb. Dive, bloop, climb. Think how sick the passengers would be. Uh-oh! If you don't make it clear what you want, that's when things go wrong, thanks to the problem blob. If you're cold in bed and you wanted a blanket, you might just get a doll's blanket that was far too small. Or someone might wish for a bike and they'd get one that was far too big. Or someone might wish for some ice cream and the problem blob would make sure they got far, far, far too much. You've got to be clear in what you say. If four things keep turning into seven things, anything could happen. If it was someone's fourth birthday, with four candles, there'd be three more candles. That's seven to blow out. And things that have four sides would have three extra sides, making five, six, seven. And the poor old dancing cow would have three extra legs to worry about. Oh, it would be a disaster. One jump of six. It's still sixes. But the six things have got to be arranged the right way. If not, anything could happen. <laughs> if you shared a giant chocolate bar, six lots of one, the blob would join it all up again. And an ant with six legs might get blobbed. And instead of two lots of three on each side, it would have one lot of six on one side. And shoelaces are hard enough to tie when the holes are in the right place. What if two lots of three became one lot of six? That would be really hard to tie. You sure? Yeah. I'm not sure she means it. And if she keeps on sliding and turning shapes, anything could happen. She might look for a circle and see the sun. And then she'd slide the sun around in the sky. Light, dark, light. Or she might look for a rectangle and see the window and start sliding it about. Really confusing. Or she might look for another rectangle and see the door and start sliding it. Oh. or turning it and you'd never get in your house. If things keep turning from spheres into cubes, anything could happen. <laughs> Bubbles might turn into cubes. <laughs> or the sun might change from a sphere to a cube. Or down here on Earth, what's going to happen to a football? Hey. Oh. <laughs> a 
I thought it was diamonds, but these diamonds are squares that have been tipped over a bit. It looks like anything to do with squares could get people square dancing. If you had a diamond on your t-shirt, it could be a tipped over square. So you'd be square dancing. And if your bath was on square tiles, your bath might start square dancing and throw the water out. And if your house had squares on it, like square windows, your whole house might start square dancing and throw everything out. Oh, it's a big one there.